on slumbery headache masks. Yeah, so that stuff gets rid of headaches? Yep. Let's see if it works. <laughs> no, the pain's still there. Well, I got my own headache medicine. Arthritis and depression, possible side effects, waking up in a field with your panties on your head. George, come here. We just got an email from Max's school. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm ready. It's from his teacher, Mrs. Reynolds. She wants to come to the house to discuss Max's behavior. What do you think he did? Oh, Angie, does it matter? <laughs> I'm sailing on a cool wave of lavender. <laughs> I don't even have any kids. George, this is serious. Or a wife. Come on. Hey, guys, maybe you should wait outside for a minute. We need to talk to Max. Oh, it's OK, guys. If it's what happened at school, they already know. It was just a joke. Max? What did you do? I stuck a pencil up my nose. Here. Oh! Max! Ouch. Ketchup? Oh, yeah. Sweet. You did that in class? Yeah. Miss Reynolds freaked out and fell back on the globe. Did you know? Two-thirds of the earth is covered by Miss Reynolds' butt? We do not high-five bad behavior. We should be high-fiving good deeds. Like today, I helped an old man to his car at the grocery store, huh? <laughs> George? I don't get it. Do you squeeze it from the bottom or do you use the pencil? <laughs> Guys, maybe you should wait outside. I need to talk to your dad. I don't like what's happening with Max. He's getting a real mouth on him, and now he's starting to act out. Come on, Angie. He's just being a boy. When I was his age, I pulled all kinds of stupid pranks. Oh, one time I hit a dead shrimp in the lining of Ernie's jacket. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny when your friend is running the bases and kickball and all the cats are chasing them and everybody in the school is yelling, go, stinky, go! <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> I don't know who I married. Hey, hey, hey. Why don't you three go play in the front? It's my yard. I can play here if I want. Okay, okay, here. Why don't we play a new game? It's called Get the Ball from the Neighbor's Rottweiler. No, I got a better idea. Why don't you take your tired ass home? Max, are you all right? Benny. Angie, I got it. Come okay. on, honey, let's go inside. Hey, you don't hit Max. George, you didn't hear what he said to me. He told me to take my tired butt home. He's lucky I didn't have a pool cue. Well, I'll deal with him later. Okay, but you don't hit my son, ever. What's wrong with you? What, now that I'm grown up, you need somebody else to smack around? Please, I never hit you. What? You used to hit me all the time. At the clothes for less, you used to pull me in the dress room and hit me so the cameras wouldn't see. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside. It didn't fit. <laughs> all right, so I smacked you a few times. You turned out all right? You turned out all right. That's your answer? Look, my head is never supposed to be this big. This is all swelling. <laughs> George, you're lucky. You don't know how many times I wanted to hit you, and I didn't. You know, I said I would never hit a woman. You get one more hair on that chin, and I'm taking you down. Get out! 